guys, it's Kayla, and welcome back to Meteorology Monday. Today, I have a very fun video that I'm very excited to film. I, a meteorologist, will be taking online meteorology quizzes. Can I pass? How hard will they be? Will they be very scientific? Will they be pretty simple? Who knows, but we're gonna find out today. All right, so I've got my laptop right here with the first quiz pulled up on it, and I'm screen recording on here, so I'll show that as we go. Well, let's get started. So the first question we've got is, liquid water droplets that fall from the atmosphere are collectively known as rain. Yes, one out of 25 so far. Water that has condensed close to the ground, producing a cloud of very small droplets that reduce visibility. I can't read, by the way, out loud. Fun fact about me, there's some sort of disconnect. I can't read out loud. Comment below if you share the same problem because it is super annoying. Water that has condensed close to the ground producing a cloud of very small droplets that reduce visibility is known as. Okay, we have fog and we have haze. Pretty sure haze is like smoke. If I'm remembering, it, guys, it's been two and a half years. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure haze is like smoke and stuff. So yeah, so let's go with fog. Two out of 25, got it right, all right. True or false, clouds in the shape of individual domes with flat bases and puppy tops are known as Virga. Virga is when it starts raining, but the rain does not reach the ground. This would be false. Killing it. Warm, dry wind that occurs on the leeward side of a mountain range particularly the Rockies, is known as a... So some terminology, leeward, the leeward side of a mountain range is the side on the opposite side of the, of the wind. So if you have a mountain range like this, and the wind is blowing this way, the side right here that the wind is touching is called the windward side, and then on the other side it's called the leeward side. And a warm dry wind that occurs on the leeward side of the mountains is called a Chinook. Ding ding ding! True or false, low level clouds characterized by horizontal layering with a uniform base are known as stratus. So these are clouds in the lower layer that have horizontal stratified layers. So can we guess what this is gonna be? You guessed it. True. And I hope you guys are playing along too. Like keep track of your answers and see if you can get some of these right as well. I'll have this exact quiz link below if you guys are interested in taking it yourself. All right, question number six. Raindrops that freeze into ice pellets before reaching the ground are collectively referred to as, the keyword here is freeze and ice. So if it is already ice, when it hits the ground, that is sleet. The difference between sleet and freezing rain is freezing rain is a super cooled liquid. So it's below 32 degrees Fahrenheit and then it freezes on contact with a cold surface whenever it hits the ground. So if it's already ice when it hits the ground, it is sleet. Question number seven. Precipitation in the form of balls or lumps of ice created through the freezing of liquid precipitation as it cools in updrafts associated with a thunderstorm is called hail or ice pellets. So this one wouldn't be ice pellets because it's associated with a thunderstorm. Ice pellets are associated with freezing temperatures, snowstorms, stuff like that. So of course this is hail. True or false, a bright spot in the sky appearing loyally. What the heck? We're gonna try that again. What in the world? Okay, so I guess this was timed. Well, I got seven out of seven for the ones that I did, but it was timed, so it just failed me on the rest of them. And it says, 28% um, you died of dysentery. I don't know what that means. What does dysentery have to do with this? We're not in the Oregon Trail taking this quiz. What's happening? So I guess I'm gonna retry it and then catch up to this point. So stay tuned as I speed past it. All right, caught back up. Here we go. True or false, a bright spot in the sky appearing loyally on either side of the sun formed by refraction of sunlight through ice crystals is known as a sun dog. This is true. Those little rainbows on the sides of the sun, they're called sun dogs. Question nine, rain that freezes upon contact with objects such as cars, roads, trees is known as, we talked about this last time, it is freezing rain. True or false, a winter storm associated with sustained winds or frequent gusts of 35 plus miles per hour, blowing and drifting snow and severely restricting visibility lasting three or more hours is known as a nor'easter. 
True? It was false. Why was it false? To be researched later, let's continue. Devised by a Japanese-American severe storms researcher in 1971, this scale is used to classify tornadoes based on wind damage. Oh my goodness, it's the Fujita scale. Now we use the enhanced Fujita scale, which is the Fujita scale, enhanced. So option number two, Fujita scale. The instrument used to measure atmospheric pressure is called the, that would be a barometer. True or false, high clouds characterized by thin wispy strains are known as cirrus. It's true. Rain droplets containing pollutants such as nitrogen or sulfur oxide are collectively known as nitrous drizzle or acid rain. This is acid rain. The boundary between two different air masses is called a temperature crest or a front. This is a front. Fronts are the boundaries between different air masses. Cold fronts, cold air is moving in. Warm fronts, warm air is moving in. See? Pretty clever. Lightning that can be seen. Oh. Lightning that can be seen but is too far away to cause audible thunder is called ghost lightning or heat lightning. What kind of quiz is this? Let me just pop up in one of these corners here. Um, my video on heat lightning and how it is a hoax. There's no such thing as heat lightning! This question is wrong. Both answers are wrong. But I'm gonna click heat lightning because that's what they want. Oh my gosh, that's right! Yeah, so if, you, if you're wondering why I'm ranting about the heat lightning, watch that video that popped up about how heat lightning is a hoax. It's something that meteorologists were just like, who came up with this? It's not, it's not real. Heat lightning doesn't exist. It's just just lightning that you can't hear the thunder, it's just regular lightning. 34 seconds, oh my gosh, an intense period of high, heavy snow accompanied by strong winds and occasionally lightning is known as a snow squall or blizzard. Oh, strong winds and occasionally lightning, well, lightning's a squall, but blizzard, 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 let's go blizzard. Oh, it is a snow squall, I should have known that. Regular squall has lightning. Blizzards are snow squalls without lightning. Oh, 10 seconds. The temperature to which air must be cooled in order for water vapor to condense is known as the... I ran out of time again, so. So I gotta go back through, do them all again. You know the drill. Get fast forward. Okay, the temperature to which air must be cooled in order for water vapor to condense is known as the condensation index or the dew point. This is the dew point. Boom, 19 out of 25 so far. Because I may have clicked the correct answers for those two that I got wrong. Clouds that are typically associated with severe thunderstorms and take the form of rounded patches in the bases of other clouds are called chromomatic clouds. A severe thunderstorm that produces hail in tornadoes is often known as a supercell. Frozen precipitation consisting of ice particles in hexagonal patterns is called. This would be snow because all snowflakes are hexagonal. True or false? A hurricane is a tropical storm with sustained. A hurricane is a tropical storm. Stop there. Hurricanes and tropical storms are two different things. I think what they're trying to say would be a hurricane is a tropical cyclone. Hurricanes are not tropical storms. Tropical storms are tropical storms. A hurricane is a tropical cyclone with sustained winds measuring greater than 74 miles per hour. That's true. <laughs> you got 100%. Is this the greatest moment of your life? It's definitely one of the highlights, yes. <laughs> Technically, I got two of them wrong. I'm also gonna get my laptop charger because my battery's dying and then I'll, right, I'll be right back with another quiz. Why can't I speak today? Good to go. Okay, on to quiz number two. Meteorology practice assessment. Let's start. This is like a full on test here. Okay, uh, the more water vapor in the air, the, okay, the more water vapor. Inversely proportional. I don't think it has to do with pressure. Water vapor is tied into Temperature, air saturation, 
the higher the temperature. Oh, it is lower the air pressure. That was my second guess. You saw my mouse hovering over it. What are these questions? Oh my gosh. Evaporation is when water turns from a liquid to a gas. That was such a range of questions right there. If there is a tornado or hurricane approaching, air pressure would be dropping. Got that one. The most common gas in our atmosphere is carbon. No. Whoa, I almost got that really wrong. Nitrogen. Nitrogen is the most common. Oh. I'm getting so much satisfaction out of this and like, this is such an ego boost. <laughs> what happens to temperatures as you move up throughout the atmosphere? It should, it should decrease from top to bottom, but you got those tricky inversion layers, so it varies. Oh, they tried to trick me. You see that? They tried. They tried. I got it right. Oh my goodness. I'm feeling real good about myself right now. The tool used to measure wind speed is a wind vane, an anemometer, a barometer, or a psychrometer. That would be the anemometer. Serious clouds, blank, are spread out like a flat sheet, spread out like a sheet and flat, have wispy edges, have flat bottoms, and are puffy bring rain. These are the high wispy ones. Seriously. I'll leave. Conduction is the transfer of thermal energy by electromagnetic waves, no ultraviolet radiation, no the movement or circulation of a liquid or gas. Conduction. Direct contact? I think. Ha! Ah, I remember something from physics! That was longer than two and a half years ago. I'm really impressed with myself, to be honest. Cumulus clouds usually mean rainy weather. Oh, cumulonimbus clouds mean rainy weather. I feel less confident about myself now. The cold front brings stormy weather followed by colder temperatures and drier weather. Well, that's number one already. Air pressure can be affected by temperature, visibility, and cloud types. Cloud types not gonna affect air temperature. Visibility, what is this visibility? Temperature, elevation, and cloud type. Cloud type has nothing to do with air pressure. Water vapor, temperature, and elevation. There we go. Do you hear my computer right now? It is like legit taking off. You need to calm down. That was off key. Clouds form when water vapor condenses, condenses on smoke, dust, salt. All right, I think that's all of the quiz that I'm going to do because my computer really doesn't like it. Calm down. So that was a meteorologist takes online meteorology quizzes. Honestly, some of those questions were a lot harder than I was expecting. Um, some of those questions really boosted my ego because I was like, huh, I remember what a cold front is. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you never miss another Meteorology Monday. Also leave a comment letting me know how well you guys did on these quizzes. Again, I'll have them linked down below if you want to take them. If you want to see more of our weather adventures, follow us over on Facebook and Instagram. As it is about to be winter time, we'll be posting snow pictures soon. Hopefully. All the links to all of our other stuff will be down in the description. Until next time, I'm Kayla, thanks for watching, and happy quiz taking! Why is it crooked now, hello?